All right, guys. Welcome back. Hey, hi. Hi. One second. Let me pull my co-host in. So I'm just pulling in. Welcome, welcome, everyone. The room is filling up. The room is filling up. Hey. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you for coming on with us. We appreciate it. Sorry, I was a little lost in uh. Love land. <laughs> I know we was, on, we was on before we got, we saw, we got on. We saw you was in the studio vibing, doing your thing. Love that. Yeah, I was there. I'm in Love Land right now. All right, listen, I love it. Um, so, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We are in for our special edition indie talks. Okay, we have no other than the Grammy nominated, NAACP nominated, BT nominated, R and B sensation. I mean, just the. Uh, Neo Soul itself, uh, Raheem Devon. Thank you so much for just for tuning, just really tuning in with us. We yeah. appreciate it. No problem. Thank you all for having me. Yeah. No problem. So, guys, as you know, I am just one of your hosts, Aisha Lewis Redway, um, and you and I have my beautiful co-host right here with me, Danielle Meek. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, guys, you know. We, we're here to have this one-on-one -on -one conversation, and we just appreciate you once again, Mr. Devon, for being with us. Um, so, really quickly, just I, you have uh, years, years under your belt in music and just really delivering um, great music. Talk about first of all, you know, a being from being in Jersey, then raised in Maryland, and then really starting putting your foot into the music industry. Um, man, I don't even know where to begin. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I like really realized I had a passion for music or really wanted to pursue it during during my, my, my time I spent in Baltimore City. Um, you know, during the few years that I that I attended Coppin State College, um university, you know, before dropping out and um and pursuing music full time. And, you know, that's where I guess that's what I guess that's where I can say like um publicly the love affair began with, you know, pursuing it and being in different groups and mm -hmm. you know, developing as a songwriter and uh, you know, and, and a performer, entertainer. Um, yeah. It was it was at that time where, where, where I realized that that's something that you know, this is something I really wanted to do. Um and, and you know, and started to see the people other people to um took an interest in it and thought that I did it well and enough for me to step out on faith and, you know, basically make a career, a living from it. All right now. All right. So did, and did you feel, cause I know you came from a background of musical influences, your father, like yeah. did that play a part in you really just saying, you know, I'm taking this serious and I'm moving forward in this. I mean, yeah, no, like I didn't know that I knew I would be doing music had I known earlier. You know, I probably would have done more, learned more, you know, experienced more. But yeah, I could, you know, ultimately, I think it happened how we supposed to. Um, definitely, that like that that you know, my father, I'm, that he's in me, you know. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I definitely think that's how you know, you know, genetically, it has a lot to do with it. You know? That's cool. So. I want to like go into as far as like from where you started, you know, like your, your first album. First of all, great album, like amazing. Everything amazing. fun. <laughs> you just so came play to the day. Came so I just want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to get that out. Um, but no, for real. Um, just from like where you started to like, how have you, how would you say that you've grown musically from where you started to how you are now? Yeah, Especially what you're about to release a project. I'm, a, I'm definitely a lot more. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a um, critic and perf you know a bit more of a perfectionist now than than I was you know than I was you know at that time. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, it's kind of like that whole process preparing me for like I guess greatness right now. You know, because everybody has their peak of like greatness where you either you know you stagnate or it gets better and better and better, you know, and more creative and, um, you know, so that that's, I'm in that space. 
person that I feel like I'm in that space personally. You know what I mean? I hope mm -hmm. that people hear the music, hear the lyric, you know, the top melody, it feels like that. And, and it's, it's, oh, no, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Okay. No, I, I think, like, it's it's so funny that, like, you came out with the single Marvin used to say, and, like, you had, like, the whole video, which we're going to get into. But even just, like, when I was just, like, listening to the first album, The Love Experience, that, like, certain, like, melodies, you sound just like Marvin. Like, it's crazy. That's just my opinion. I don't know if anybody's ever told you that. So I, I think it's just, I think it's so funny, like, from the beginning, like, when you came out with that album to now, it's, like, kind of, you know? That's what's up. I'll yeah. take that. <laughs> so um let's actually talk about because we you know 2005 the love experience and then now you're up into the eighth album you get ready to release the ninth album um actually coming up in june um talk about the fact that you are normal as the r&b hippie <laughs> um uh neo soul rock star um how did you i mean who blessed you with that name and 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 how did you really like come to fit into it and and well, absorb know, it well you know i have many attributes darling there's uh <laughs> um sue cooler jones the lip guy uh mrs mm -hmm. spanky on time mr jiggy mr conscious uh the r&b hippie neo soul rock star um nowadays they just call me the love king of r&b yes ever so hopefully Mr. Midnight, yes. Mr. Midnight, everything. <laughs> you have so many names. Um, and I'm here for it. Listen, I'm here for it. Cause and let's talk about like pure, like just pure R and B. Because in 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 the mo in where you feel that you the R and B is right now. Um, do you feel that with everything that you have put out over these years and even up till now? Um, because I mean, you have it just. I mean, just grace, R and B, just every to every lyric. Um, do you feel that R and B is in a different stage right now? I think it's in a really cool place. Me myself, I think I think there's a lot of great when you go down the rabbit hole of like um, the Spotify rabbit hole, for example. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if you ever go down that rabbit hole and just kind of like, or maybe I'm just a late. I, I, it could be that I'm a late bloomer too, but I'm really been discovering a lot of things that either I didn't know existed or, um, or just like it's just it's just new stuff. And I think because it's like that's a platform in particular where they get like four thousand submissions of music mm -hmm. plus them, yeah, for like playlisting and different things. You know what I mean? Like right. hey from Switzerland and I'm putting out this new project and hey I'm so and so from LA or I'm this rapper I'm this I do this fusion of all of it and I shoot my own video so how can I put pieces of them on your con you know as content it, it yeah it, it's it's a, it's an interesting time there's some great things out there you know what just, are some artists that you have on your Spotify playlist mm -hmm. I can't I'm gonna have to like I would have to like pause <laughs> yeah that's the part two interview i got okay okay it's like the you know not that but this is this and i can come back got you <laughs> like you can definitely talk about some really good artists that you definitely listen to gotcha yeah, so yeah. i want to i definitely because i do this thing on clubhouse mm -hmm. right on sunday nights it's called sage and slow jams and it's mm. So it's a vibe like of strictly slow jams from just a lot of different genres of music and like but it's definitely just like the slow jam. So you never know what I'm gonna play, but you know it's gonna be slow. Okay. All right. Listen, y'all got Clubhouse Sunday. You said every Sunday. Tap in. Okay, so tap in, you know what I mean? Because it's a lot I'm discovering that there's so much cool, you know, cool things out there, you know? Yeah. Um yes. for me it's about consistency and and, and, and becoming better at what mm -hmm. I do and process in the process um you know working with some of those artists perhaps you know mm -hmm. um supporting them you know any way that i can you know and putting is good, it? good showing music lovers like hey this is where you can find it you know mm. yeah really I educating them and really telling them how they can really tap in not only you know just to put their music out there but how to really connect with other artists and other creatives absolutely yeah. absolutely 
Go ahead, Danielle. I, I know I asked you earlier, if there anybody that you listen to, is there anybody that you potentially maybe want to work with? Mm. Um, I want to work with everyone. <laughs> I work with the Isley Brothers. I'm, Ooh. I'm Ooh. Playing with some ideas for them. That's, you know, yeah. one one good on um from Ivy, um Alex Ivy. I don't know if you've ever heard of her. She is so oh. amazing. That's Ernie's yeah. daughter. Been listening to her since like when she first came out. out. Amazing, yes. amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so I want to go into because of the fact that um we know last year was crazy. Um, you know, twenty twenty, the start of COVID pandemic, which we're sort of easing out of just just a little. Um. And you released um, "What a Time to Be in Love," mm -hmm. um, the single uh, uh, Marvin used to say, which is actually on that album as well. Mm -hmm. And during a time where just a lot of things are happening in the political system, still just going injustice, on. which is still happening, of course, yeah. um, and a lot of you know, uh, just a lot of injustice that just was happening. Um, talk about you, A, releasing that single, because I know this year you released the visual um, for his birthday. I did. And, you know, really talk about, you know, that moment in time, just really, you know, going digging into Marvin Gaye, because you have a little bit of sample of what's going on. It's some things that are sample that, that's said in the, the lyrics. So please just talk to us about that. Um, sometimes you start, you do something like... In your career, you don't realize you're coining something that you're going to be great at. And um, I'm in a I'm in a stage of like time period piecing like art, you know, what I'm saying through music, you know, through lyric and melody and production, you know. And, and when I come in here and do what I do, and so that is what um, that's the focus right now. Like that's that's you know this is every, everything feeling colorful and authentic, and me, you know, and being able to grow in that process, um, and the artistry of it, like you know, and I think that when you do something enough and you do it repetitiously and um, it's a way to push yourself and, you, and when you and when it and, and when it's consistent, it can only you only gonna get better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. And um. Yeah, so I just feel like I'm in a great space creatively, and you know, and 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 what a time it's like, you know. I think that what a time, you know, what a time to be in love was supposed to be. What a time to be alive. But there's already a multi platinum selling album that is, you know, um, that has that title. So I wanted to take some, I wanted to take something that was that had a, a nostalgia to it, um, a lot of truth, a lot of question, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but also foresight, you know, because you know it's a, it's definitely it's like an amazing time to to be alive if you're alive, like regardless yeah. of whatever. Yes. The circumstance, you know what I'm saying? Right. With all that's going on in the world, like there's some there's there, you know, regardless of where you are, where you're from, what you've been through, what you experience, you know, what your fears are what your concerns are, what your wishes are, is like, there's a purpose you're still here to serve. Right. So you matter in that moment for that purpose, you know what I'm saying? So it's, you know, so it, it's, so creating is like really fun for me right now. And I just have a question to piggyback. I'm sorry, Danielle. Okay. Uh, just to piggyback off that, do you feel like you will do like a cover album or anything of that in, in dedication for... <laughs> <laughs> for Marvin Gaye or, or any like soul artist that focused on really it's just coming. trying to bring a community it's together, I'll just say I'll just say these words: It's coming. Okay, all right, we're looking forward to it. It's coming, twenty twenty one coming. Twenty one. Which year? Okay. Break. Twenty twenty one. Okay, gotcha. Right. Right. <laughs> Go okay. ahead. Yeah. It may, it may it may in fact be done already. Oh. And I, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> um, I just want to get like, what makes the perfect R and B album, in your opinion? Oh, why would you put that in my? Because <laughs> <laughs> listen, you're Miss, you Mr. Yep. Midnight, Mr. Love, Mr. I mean, keep, everything, I mean, everything. You got all the titles. I have blue checks in my, and all up in my time. <laughs> <laughs> got no in your Serato. <laughs> um. 
Man, it's a lot of that's a really tough question, you know. Mm -hmm. Um melodies, creativity, um honesty. Mm -hmm. You know, um, um emotional, you know, um and 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 soulful. That's like, you, that's like the most important. You can when it has just when it still got soul to it. Mm. Right. Or they still have their soul. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just we sweet twist. I know. I'm like, that's so good to me. <laughs> um, because you know what? Because anybody know so I'm gonna tell you this, anybody no, no, no. that knows me. Cause then, cause, then, cause then it touch your soul. You know what I'm saying? It touch. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it does, it does. No, for real. Right. Yeah, because anybody that knows me, like I listen to when for any album, um, especially when it comes to R and B, you know, I'm I'm a lyric person, so mm -hmm. I'm paying attention to, you know, your words and in really and how you lay it out there, and everything that you have put out has been like this, this story and this this it's like a love letter, um, you know, to just really just really just about love. And it's been amazing in the way that you put it and you organize it. And that's like one thing that I definitely pay attention to. And speaking of R&B albums, we actually want to go into the fact that you dropped your new single for your new upcoming album. Yeah. Love Sick. Okay. <laughs> it's today, today. Yeah. Yeah. It dropped today. today. So listened. guys, go listen get it support it i already bought it i already i'm i pre-ordered i got the single yeah so please support support okay um talk about basically the latest single you know what a man because you i mean on this track you definitely have a lot of descriptive you know um lines in this and talking about what a man should should do so what inspired that i had a lot of fun making that record i was right here we had like three stripper poles in the um studio <laughs> <laughs> not the stripper pose. Not the stripping pose. Yeah, this is me and this guy here. Nothing too fancy, people. And uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was. I had a I had a lot of fun making that record. I uh, with Apollo Brown. Um, yeah, shout out Apollo to Apollo Brown. Brown. Yes, great. Um, I did the we did the we did the whole record like in like a matter of days, right? Yeah, I mean, you definitely knocked that out in one day. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm saying like the whole album. We did the whole oh, album, like wow. yeah, we did the album and like the actual right. creation of it, mm -hmm. and, and like 14, 15 days. Oh wow! But that's mm -hmm. like a thing for me, believe it or not. I mean, I've seen, we, I've definitely seen you get on your live and just really being the way that you zone out in the studio, like you did prior before this. Yeah, you can hear and it. And you constantly, in the consistency that you get on the live and just really give, you know, some samples and music of you just really being in the studio and the way that you do your placements and arrangements and things and the way that you kind of let us in. I mean, it's amazing. Hey, play the joint real quick. Yeah, Ooh, we, get it, we get an exclusive? We get an exclusive? Okay. Let him hear a little bit of it. Let him hear a little, <laughs> little smidgy bitch. That's a voice for me. All right. <laughs> Let me break See, that's me. how he became Mr. Midnight. Can I break y'all a little pitch? <laughs> break us off. We're ready. Y'all hear that? Let it breathe. 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 Oh, 
Just they for... cutting off in these comments. Listen, they Talking enjoyed this. Week. <laughs> that was amazing. Yes. I can't wait. I, I'm like so ready, like, but like for this album, I'm I'm so ready. And and Danielle, go ahead, cause I'm gonna ask all the questions, Lord. Wait, now, wait, wait. first of all, that's not ahead. album. That's like right now. That's what we just did right now. That's what we was just doing. That's what we about to go back to doing Ooh. when we get off. Oh, that's gonna be on the album. Is it gonna like a special edition? This 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 like right now. Oh, oh no, that's wow. not on the album, Danielle. He you doing this? Day. Happening like he doing like right now. You like this every day. Okay, we need this like tonight. We right. <laughs> we need this tonight. We need this release. Get get um, the split sheets. Tell them give everybody get everybody their piece. Whatever. Let's get it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get it going. <laughs> so I just wanted to to get into these first of all, these comments got me weak. Um why Love Sick as a title for this upcoming album? Um This is a t this is a time where where either people ha had grown sick of the person, unfortunately that, that maybe they thought that they loved or you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um grown apart. You're going to say it might be a little harsh, but, you know, or um, have rekindled, become madly in love, um, you know, like, you know, time of growth, you know, yeah. and areas, depending on how you look at it and how you treat it. So um, how you value your life, you know, in time. So I love that. So love sick. Yeah. Why not? It can only be that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Even even though and, and and what's ironic is like I, like none of these songs were recorded during um, the pandemic, you know what I mean? So, mm. like, but they're meaningful and it's a body of work. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I always want to be a body of work or a, 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 a um a story, you know? Even if it's like uh, uh, fiction, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's, it's, it's just got to feel, you know, and, and more importantly, it's just got to be authentic to what to what we call, you know, what I what I what I remember R and B and soul music being, you know. Mm. Like I straddle this 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 line of um of um, of a lot of different things, but it's primarily like R and B and like soul, you know. Mm. Amazing, definitely. Um. So first off, we just want to say thank you so much for just really yes. sitting here and just really talking with us and just giving some light and, and really sh you sharing, you know, some of the new work that you're working on actually tonight. Uh, we appreciate you. And thank you so much for giving us nothing but amazing music throughout these years, something that gives us longevity of and classic love. music love to really <laughs> listen to and grasp onto, first off. So we want to give you just all of your accolades for that. Thank you. Thank you. It's all good. Thank you. And one thing about it, you know, with all of the changes and being, you know, working, coming from major and, and working independently, what would you say has been the most rewarding um, experience that you, throughout these years? Because, I mean, you've been in the game for possibly 16 years plus. Mm -hmm. It's just to be, I mean, to still have your name in the conversation. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's not an easy thing for, for artists to accomplish, you know? such as myself, or it might be easy for us, you know what I mean? Because we put in mm. put in a level of work. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's a, it's a level of, of focus and, de and dedication, commitment that you have to make um, to yourself, you know? And it's a certain love and a passion you got to have for the gift of it, you know? So not, you know? It's why artists like Let Let It could win their Grammy. Get the, get the yes. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yep. You know? That's absolutely. And then it's about time because, you know, and you know, there's a lot of been a lot of talk with the Grammys and things of that nature, of course. Wow. And, but about that time to really sh see, you know, R&B and see soul music for what it is um, and know that, look, it's always been here, but you know, it's coming out more. Um, 
what would you, <laughs> um, I know someone that had a comment in there because I know we've been, you know, since the pandemic and everything, we've been keeping entertained with verses. So yes. speaking of R&B and you being the king and, and being the, just the soul artist that you are, who would you see yourself doing the verses with? Oh, man, I, I mean, I do whatever. Like, I'm, I'm game. Like, you know, let's have fun. Let's make it interesting. I, I, I could think of a couple of artists that make sense. Anthony Hamilton. Ooh. Uh, music Soul Child. I, I said that. I said that earlier. I said you and music would be so... Uh, it would just be such a vibe. Such a vibe. Me and Tank. Um... This is this some good lineups. Yeah. Somebody said Tyrese. Eric Erickson, Dwelle. Oh yes. Tyrese is respectfully he before my time. Like he's he was, you know what I mean? He's been, yeah. He was already he was in in in. Like Yeah. Oh. He came a long way from singing on the bus and Coca-Cola yeah. and everything. <laughs> bus, you know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> About to go to work. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um You'd have to do some like, like Reese. You'd have to make it fun. You'd have to do like, you'd have to really do like Reese. You'd have to do probably uh, genuine mm. closest. You know, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. If you want to mix it up, like I said, I want to see somebody go against G, because I, I know that I go on the record and say, yeah, a lot of people have you know borrowed. Come on, man. Man, gee, that was my first job in this business. Mm. The background for Genuine. Mm. Yeah. I'm a, Cause I'm a huge lover of R and B. But right. I'm and at that time I was a huge fan of like Genuine and 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 that whole Missy Timberland mm -hmm. uh, static, you know, yeah. that whole group. Like yeah. Mr. and said like I followed it all the way from like Devonte and kind of like I was always a guy that like read the credits and just like a huge so that's why you hear a lot of those different elements you know mm. yeah, you know color it's different colors and stuff you know got you and and just one more uh Daniel you have another I know mm -hmm. I have one more question okay, okay so I and, and like I said once again thank you so much for um definitely having this conversation with us so like I said you definitely have been in this game 16 years plus if you could speak to the younger you mm -hmm. <laughs> from when you started and up to this point where you see yourself now um what would that conversation be like Hey nigga, you gonna be that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this pandemic is gonna hit. This pandemic is gonna come. <laughs> and it's gonna change the world. And during that time, you're gonna really like it's gonna be crazy. Everything you do is gonna be amazing. Mm. Do you feel I know like we spoke about this before, like with the pandemic. Do you feel that this has hurt relationships or kind of helped relationships get back together or oh, oh it's 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 cut ties that don't need to be you know mm -hmm. what i mean um and that's no love lost on that it doesn't mean you don't still love those people you know it just means in a different way you know and you respect them in a different way you know what i mean and um and 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 the lessons hit different during this time for me mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. for I think lessons hit different, you know what I'm saying? Because you realize in areas where you might have spent um, a lot more focus that you didn't need to, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. That's true. A number of different reasons, you know. I'm talking about like not just matters of the heart or relationships. I'm talking about like career-wise, you know, um, the circle of you know loyalty, friends, and trust, you know. Um, you know, relationships with, with family members, loved ones. Right. Yeah. yeah and, and, to, and, to, and, and to wrap this up, um, lastly, uh, we our platform supports a lot of independent artists, um, a lot of upcoming artists as well. Um, mm -hmm. What would be your biggest, biggest words of encouragement to artists who are in this live right now who's saying, hey, I, this is the real, I know for a fact I want to go. Um, I'm trying to be the next Raheem Devon. 
have the you have the um power to be um and do whatever you want like you know you just have to have um the willpower you know um the belief in yourself um the due diligence the hustle ambition the grind um the manifestation the prayers like you know it's already it's here, it's out here it's enough room to for it it's about what you do with it you know amazing that's so true it's you versus you that's it's right. you versus you guys you don't heard it right here from the goat himself okay definitely um first you, of all once again you said something earlier and it's because I, I was trying to grab my other phone and write it down you said okay. ride me in a way then I have to ah I'm glad I have to go back just to watch it just to find what I'm talking about because it was like um, I'll find it though okay and let me know what that was <laughs> hopefully that was so, a good thing it's from the back of my brain like ah well, you know, we can have the video up on IG. You know, so, tell your friends and family, come watch. All right. Like, uh, like, okay. Oh, they want you to sing us out. I'm, what? They want you to sing us out. Somebody in the in, comments. They, in the comments, they want you to sing us out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But before you do, before you do, but guys, please, all seriousness, definitely pre-order okay <laughs> Love Sick is coming out this June. Yes. Also, yeah. it's drop the single. Yes, when um June when the, when the man the singles out now. Shout out to my bro Apollo Brown. Make sure y'all yeah. uh, make sure I support him. Follow us on Spotify. I'm at Raheem Devon. That's Apollo Brown. Um, the new single was out. Win the man. It's yes. it's like somebody needs to start the win the man contest. Like the 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 TikTok. Ooh, Ooh. is that the right here challenge coming out? We have a challenge. It's that's it's that's what that is like. That's one, you know. Um, I think we got some TikTok. Some TikTokers might be in here and everything like that. I, guys, we got something on the table. So it's what's a tool. <laughs> All right, so Mr. Devon, please take us home. Please take us home. <laughs> Um, waking up in the shower in the midnight hour, yeah, yeah. After 12, when you're by yourself, when you're in need of sexual help, I'll be there pronto. Just leave the door unlocked, pour that wine and like that day. Tonight, I'm gonna get you healing like Marvin Gaye, halfway up my drawers. While you climb the walls, when you need a sound, oh baby, encore and applause. Let me be your Mr. Midnight. In the midnight hour, just call me up and I'll satisfy you till tomorrow. Ah, that's all I got. I, I, I <laughs> what? Well, thank you awesome. so much. Oh my goodness, I love it. Yeah. Uh, once again, just thank you because we're gonna let you get back to that studio. Yeah, we, we know we you need that zone. We need that zone. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, <laughs> Raheem Devon, guys, for definitely coming through, um, being on our platform, giving us your experience, and dropping some gems and saying a lot of words of encouragement. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All Thank right. Thank you so much. And you enjoy the rest of your <laughs> evening. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Peace. Bye. <laughs> oh, man. This is so dope. Shout out to everybody that came through. Shout out Thank to, you. to Raheem Devon. Let me, like, I have to play, I have to play the song back. Okay. Hey. <laughs> this was amazing. Shout out, like I said, shout out to everybody that came through. Shout out to Raheem Devon. My gosh. Yes. Thank you to his team. Um, Sean, thank you. Uh, Tony, Tori, I'm sorry. Um, to everybody that worked you hard because 
to really uh, make sure we got him out his zone and, and for yes. him to sit with us and talk with us. So thank you so much to his whole team. Um, guys, we thank you so much for really coming through. You guys came through and showed out tonight. Showed up, showed out. I Y'all appreciate it, all the love and really showing this king that how much his music is really left a mark on our generation. So we are very grateful and we appreciate all of the love and support. And guys, you already know, it, <laughs> it doesn't get no realer than what <laughs> how we do it here, okay? <laughs> we love you guys. Yeah, um, love so you. What, what, what we got? I'm going to let this rock in the background while we do our announcements because he gave um, us a little church. Yeah, so, yeah. church announcements. Um, so couples of karaoke, we will be back tomorrow. Um, so come in. For a club crush on you, we will be back tomorrow. That's couples at karaoke, couples with a K. Check us out. Um, yeah. All right now. And guys, thank you once again, like I said, for all the love and support. Please check us out, our Spotify playlist. Definitely um check our, our YouTube channel. We do have a YouTube channel. Please go follow, subscribe, all of that clubhouse, all of that. We are on every single social media, even yes. TikTok. <laughs> so please, please go ahead. And uh, we might have to put something out, do a, a, a TikTok challenge in regards to what a man. So okay. listen, we, we're going to be putting <laughs> some stuff out there. And guys, tune in to us on Music Mondays, on our Mondays for our Music Mondays, where this month we are spe we are having special guest hosts along with Daniel and myself. Yes. So please check us out where we do nothing, do a rewind that happens within a week. We give our shout outs. We support our black owned businesses. And on top of that, we get into a little tea, just a little, just not a little, much, just, just a little. little. All right. Uh, but guys, thank you once again for the support. We do appreciate it. And guys, we until next time, you already know what it is, right? I'm just your host, Asia Lewis Redway, my beautiful co-host. Danielle Me with the break. Right. Thanks everybody for talking many on break. Yes. And guys, you already know it's nothing but what? Real music, music real, style, real, style, real people. Real people. So you already know, guys. Until next time. Peace.